Hello, my kids. Guess what? It's June. It's uh, Monday, June 1st, 20. Okay? So we are starting the, the new month. Okay? Today we're going to talk about theater. Okay? The theater place. I love theater. I love drama. I love music. I love uh, romantic, romanticism. There are different uh, theater plays, okay? And really, I love all of them. I like to go to the theater at least once a month, okay? And all of us could be actor and actresses. This time, you are just going to see what we were talking about, the tempest, okay? But first, I want you to do the following. We haven't done listening, so I want you to go to the online practice, okay? In the tech room, you enter to the media center and you're going to make the listening. I want you to answer, to listen and answer pages 146. In the media center is a 3.27 and uh, page 158 of the student's book and the media is 4.7. I will show you the pages. Okay, the first page is 146. Okay, look, this is the page that you have to answer with the listening, okay? Here. Okay, letter A and letter B. First you say who's speaking first, who is answering, how many people are speaking in what you are listening, okay? And remember to answer also these questions that say, why my people give their money away? Give away is regalar. ¿Por qué vas a regalar tu dinero? Okay? And then you are going to choose this. Listen and read the questions and put a uh, check mark in the correct answers. You have these options. Okay? And the next listening is on page 158. This is page 158, okay? You are going to write the date. Remember, June, June 1st, 2020. You are going to say, what things are people proud of? ¿Cuáles son las cosas porque la gente esté orgullosa de? Okay? Listen, what instruments does Ramiro play? And listen again and write the short answers to this question, okay? When did Ramiro start writing songs? How old is Ramiro now? When did Ramiro join the skaters? What was Ramiro's proudest moment? And, uh, sorry, how does Ramiro express himself? And what makes Ramiro happiest? Okay, now, let's go to Students Book, page 162. Okay, we are going to read The Tempest. This is a play. Okay, and, okay, this is a drama. When there is a drama, well, terrible things happen. Like right now, we are having a little drama with the COVID-19. Page 162. Read The Tempest. Drama is a form of self-expression that begins when a playwright writes a play to express feelings about a topic or about life in general, but the page one, page. Okay, here you can see the playwright, well, is a person that is writing about some event or something that they like uh, in general, okay? It writes a play to express feelings about a topic. Okay, I'll start it again. Ready? Go. Page 162. Read The Tempest. Drama is a form of self-expression that begins when a playwright writes a play to express feelings about a topic or about life in general. Okay, so the playwright is the person that writes the plays. But the play is only the beginning. Drama can only happen with the aid of other people. So you need the help of other people in order to make the play. 
Actors express themselves by performing the play and bringing it to life in their own unique way. Okay, it says in their own unique way because each actor is different. So you know that if you are an actor or an actress, you will um, act what they say, but you are a different person, so you give a different expression. Set designers decide how the stage will look during the performance. Okay, so we have the people that are the designers of the set, okay, and so they help to see how the stage is going to look. The audience watching the play also contributes by reacting to the actors and to the lines that are being spoken. Okay, the audience is the people that is watching the film, the, the play, okay, and, well, the actors... Uh, wants them to laugh if they are saying something funny, to cry if they are doing some drama, and to clap at the end of the play if they did a good job. One man, who was both a poet and playwright, became the most famous writer in the English language, William Shakespeare. Okay, do you know about him? As you can see, he was a very good writer and also a poet. If you can, Try to read some of their of his poems. It's re they are really nice. His plays have been performed all over the world and in many languages. One of Shakespeare's plays is called The Tempest. Okay, so this play it was written from uh, by Shakespeare. Okay. A tempest is a violent storm. At the beginning of the play, a ship is sailing from Tunis in North Africa to... Okay, this is the place that uh, it uh, leaps, and this is the destiny. To Italy, the ship is carrying some extremely important people. When a massive storm starts at sea, everybody on board is petrified that the waves and wind will break up the ship and throw the passengers and crew into the water. Imagine, they know these are very important people and they are really, really scared because they notice that the storm is so hard that they could die. The captain and all the sailors are doing their very best to save the ship and its passengers from the storm. Cast... Okay, as you can see, this is... Uh, this is the captain, this is a very elegant person, and those people are uh, boarding in the ship, okay? Now, well, the captain and the crew have to try to save them. Cast of the Tempest is the people that are working and are presenting the, the, the play. Of the Tempest, Alonso, king of Naples, a city in Italy. Let's suppose that here I say Caesar or I say Emiliano, okay? Ferdinand, Alonso's son. I can say um, any 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 of you could be the son, even you are a girl, okay? Sebastian, Alonso's son and brother of Ferdinand. Antonio, Duke of Milan, another city in Italy. Gonzalo. An elderly man who is an advisor to the king. Sailors. Okay, all of these are the actors. Act one, scene one. Okay, all of these are the actors. Let's start. Okay, so we have the first act. It's the only one that we are going to read today. But it's really interesting. Ready? Noises of thunder and lightning can be heard because of the terrible storm. A ship's captain and a sailor walk onto the stage. Se As you can notice, the, the narrator has to say this in order to make an <clears throat> environment of uh, a drama telling all the audience what is going on. Sailor, I'm here, Captain. How can I help you? Oh, good. Please go and talk to the other sailors. We're in trouble. Talk to the sailors. Get them ready. Hurry before the ship runs into the rocks. Hurry. Go. Okay. 
So you can see here how the captain is telling the sailor to tell the others that they are going to be in troubles and but he has to keep calm. Look. The captain leaves the stage fast. More sailors enter the stage. In this way, you know what is going on. You can imagine it. Use your imagination. Okay, the captain is going out of the stage and then more sailors enter to the stage. Let's see what they say. Come on, sailors. Good job. Quickly, quickly. You need to take in the big sail. And listen carefully to the captain's orders. Blow until you burst, wind, but leave enough room for us. Alonso, Sebastian, Antonio, Ferdinand, Gonzalo, and some others enter the stage. Okay, so even we have here some sailors. Now we have another sailors that he named that are going to say something. Watch out, good sailor. Where's the captain? Make sure the other sailors do their work. Please go back under the deck, sir. Okay, so Alonso is not a sailor, but he is trying to do something, and he says, okay, come on, go with the passengers. Sailor, where's the captain? The captain is busy giving people orders. Can't you hear him? You're preventing us from doing our work. Go back to your cabins. You're helping the storm, not us. Okay, it's saying, please, if you don't go back to the cabin, you are just uh, bothering or you are uh, not helping us to do our job. Calm down, good sailor. It's difficult to calm down in a storm. I'll calm down when the sea calms down. Now go. These big waves don't care about kings and their advisors. Go to your cabin and keep quiet. Don't add to our problems. Okay, here you can see that he, Gonzalo, is the advisor of the king, and he wanted to calm him down, but he says, no, 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 no. You are uh, making me be distracted and not working. I'll do what you say, but just remember you have important people on board. The most important person on board is me. If you're so important, then order the storm to stop. If you can calm this weather and make the sea peaceful, we can put down our ropes and rest. If you cannot, then be grateful for your long life. Go to your cabin and get ready for the worst. Come on, men. Now get out of our way. Okay, he says, okay, but remember that there are many important people here in the ship. And he says, well, right now, the most important is me because I am the one that is going to help uh, you to survive. The sailor leaves the stage. That sailor makes me feel better. He'll never die on a ship at sea. We're lucky to be here with a terrible villain like him. If he survives this storm, we all will. Okay, Gonzalo says, okay. This sailor looks like, uh, uh, as if he is the villain. But if he survives, all of us are going to survive. Gonzalo and the other king's advisors leave the stage. Okay, so they think... They think that um, that sailor is a villain, but no, he is a hero because he wants to survive. Okay, here you, you are going to write a date, June 1st, 2020. Okay, if you could play part in The Tempest, which character would you be? Talk about it with your partner. Okay, you are going to, we are going to talk about it in the, in the class, in the virtual class. What did you know before you read The Tempest? What did you want to know? What have you learned about wh how the tempest, uh, how we express ourselves? And please fill this chart. Okay, these questions and these we are going to do them in the virtual class later. Okay. Okay, kids, that's all for today. Uh, for homework, you have to do also the cover, but we are going to talk about it at half past one. See you later. I love you.